Howdy, this is Skippy with On The Fly Photography, and we're taking a quick look at, this is going to be shocking to you, bugs in Lightroom. Lightroom 4.0 is what I got going here. It does have some annoying bugs in it. Here's a good example of one of them. I got a bunch of photos selected here. I want to move these photos over to this directory, so I'm doing that. My files are moving. I mean, that's cool. That's great and everything. So now I'd really like to do something else with my computer. So I'm going to minimize that window, and we're going to see how long it takes for me to be annoyed by the bugs. Oh look, it's not going to do it now that I'm recording. It's not going to do it. I love it. I absolutely love it. absolutely love it. This is one way to make Lightroom work correctly is to actually try to record it in action. Oh there we go. Thank you. I did not maximize that window. Lightroom just decided that it needed to be on top of my screen. So let me make that go away again. Oh look it's back. Let's make that go away again. Oh look it's back. Let's try clicking on the show desktop icon. Oh look, Lightroom is back. Why? Because Lightroom needs to be the center of attention. Also because Lightroom, there it is again, it's back. Because Lightroom was written by apparently programmers who don't know how to write code. Let me minimize Lightroom again. Oh look, Lightroom is back. Lightroom says, hey everybody, look at me. I'm so important that there's no way you would want to use your computer for anything else when I'm running because I need to be the center of your attention span. Oh, look, Lightroom's back again. This is really annoying. About the only way you can, I've found that you can deal with this is, and I've noticed too, Lightroom only goes so small. Fortunately, I have two computer monitors on my system. I'm not recording the other monitor. So I can minimize Lightroom, or not minimize, but shrink the window like this, and then scooch it over to my other monitor, and then I can use this one without interference. However, Lightroom will continue to feel the need to be in the foreground. Again, I did not bring it to the foreground. Let me minimize Lightroom again. And it'll give us a minute here. It'll pop back up, I'm sure. Now, I don't know why this is so difficult. I'm not a programmer. But you would think, there it is. You would think Adobe would be able to figure out stuff like this. You would also think Adobe would be able to figure out how to read and write PNG files. It doesn't seem to be a huge stretch of imagination. Lightroom 4 also, you may have heard reports from some people that it is very slow, very resource intensive. I can attest to that. Interestingly enough, sometimes Lightroom 4 works really quickly and I don't particularly experience any slowdowns. Other times when using Lightroom 4, you know, the delay between moving a slider and seeing the results can sometimes be, you know, five seconds, occasionally more, but I mean, easily five second delays sometimes. And of course, it's all on the same computer. So yeah, there we go. I'm sitting here having my morning coffee, trying to organize my files, and basically hanging out while Lightroom screams, Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm so important! Having said all of that, the raw engine in Lightroom 4.0 is really good. I'm liking it a lot so far. So I will say the same thing I've said to everybody when talked about this, when talking about this, is wait for Lightroom 4.1. Hopefully some of these bugs will be fixed. There's also, of course, the bug you may or may not have heard about, where if you use the tus the custom, that's a new word, the custom tone curve, otherwise known as the custom, if you use the custom tone curve when you import your Lightroom 3 catalog into Lightroom 4, it misinterprets the data and messes up your tone curve. Adobe claims that the 
correct data is still in the catalog. It just needs to be interpreted correctly by Lightroom 4. So theoretically, a fix is coming for that. I said theoretically. So that's a big, and I'm, from what I read on some of the boards, Adobe's position is that that will be in the 4.1 release and they're waiting for the 4.1 to get that fix done. And I saw a mention from an Adobe employee that there's also a couple of other fixes they're trying to get in 4.1, which just as a point of reference for those of you who can't stop talking about how wonderful Adobe is and how it never has any bugs in Lightroom, of course, if Adobe you know, didn't have bugs in Lightroom, then they would need to release fixes and they would admit that there's bugs on their forums. I just find it really annoying when people get pissy when you point out that Lightroom has bugs in it as if somehow or another, you know, you hate the world or something because you pointed out your software has bugs in it. I, you would not believe the number of people on internet forums, of course, where you don't have to be intelligent or civilized who call me names and say I'm a liar because I point out that Lightroom has bugs in it, kind of like this one, where when you minimize Lightroom and try to use your computer for something else, Lightroom pops back up in front just like that, even though you don't want it in the foreground. So way to go, Adobe. Thank you for you know, not hiring any real programmers or anything like that. All right, I'm going to try to get back to finishing my coffee and organizing my files if Lightroom will cooperate with me. Thanks for listening, and bye-bye.